Okay, how's it going YouTube? This is part two to this video. Well, to the series, okay? Uh, so now we are going to use B7000. My thoughts. It m might work. I I'm not sure. But this is, to me, is like super glue. But anyhow, that's my opinion. It might work. Uh, so we'll come back in a couple of minutes. This this is going to be a lot shorter than the last one, just because I'm not explaining everything so thoroughly. Uh, but as you can see, I got my clamps over there ready to go, and uh, yeah, be right back. Whenever I come back, it will be sealed in with B7000 under the clamps. I cleaned up the surface again just isoproof alcohol and a couple of q-tips just like before be right back okay we're back it is clamped down got seepage good to go so it is the 9th at 2 38 p.m so we will come back tomorrow around this time <laughs> And then we get to do the fun thing of throwing it in a bowl of water again. And, uh, yeah, I charged it up just for a little bit. And the same pressures on them. These clamps are tight. So, we'll be back tomorrow. Peace. How's it hanging, YouTube? It's been over... 24 hours today is the 10th at 2.53 p.m. We have the watch that's been sitting with B7000 for over 24 hours. Now we're going to take it apart and check to see how B7000 is. Why was that clamp on there? There we go. And honestly, if it does work like the cold press, I'll probably still use the cold press just because it, I don't know, this just seems too hard. Like the B7000 seems like what they use at the factory. So without further ado, we'll leave it lit up and curb plunk. Don't see any bobbles. That's a good sign. Let's push it. Okay. It is 2.54. We'll commence about 3.54 to, you know, four o'clock-ish. All right, guys, we'll see you then. Okay, YouTube, guess what time it is? Yep, it's 4.01. Time to pull it out and see how it did. Yeah, I got a little bit of a mess kicking. Can anybody guess what I'm doing? Fun. All right, let's get our hands in here. Let's tap it. Hey, it looks like it's exactly the same. Hmm. Huh. Okay, well, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to pull it apart and... We'll see how she did. Okay, YouTube, we got her apart. And honestly, I think there's a little bit of water down in there. I mean, it. I can't get it on video, but it looks a little damp down there. Other than that, you know, that could have been, I missed a little bit when sealing it up. But it's not like it took a lot of water, if anything. Just a couple little drops. It just looks a little damp. So I would... Uh, there, It was harder to come apart. You know, it was cemented together, that's for sure. And I broke the little tab off of my tool. I'm going to have to get another one. See, it's supposed to look like that. But, yeah, it snapped that off. You know, even with heat. Uh... Man, it's a, it's a tough one to call. I'll let you make your own decision, but <clears throat> I, I think I'll stick with the the cold press glue 
I don't know. It's just, it, it seems like it's that rubbery stuff like they use from the factory. That's my concessions and you make your own decision. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Have fun. Peace out.